So Mungu ameumba dhambi ikaingia ulimwengu, ikaingia katika moyo wa mwanadamu. Na hiyo dhambi ndiye imesababisha moyo wa Mungu kusononeka. Mpendwa, nataka unaponisikiza ukaelewe kwamba wewe ambao ni kiumbe cha Mungu aliyeumba kwa mfano wake unapofanya thambi, unafanya moyo wa Mungu kusononeka na Biblia inasema kwamba si kusononeka tu Mungu anaanza kuwa na mipango jinsi ya kukuangamisha maana tumeona baada ya Mungu kusema kuhusu kusononeka moyoni Tunaona anafikiria kuhusu galika. Na anapoongea kuhusu galika, anasema huyu mwanadamu ambao nimeomba kwa mfano wangu aniabudu. Badala ya kuniabudu, badala ya kunipa heshima, anafanya thambi mbele zangu. Anaabudu miungu wengine. Amechihusisha na maofu lakini tunashukuru Mungu na neno lake. Biblia inasema kwamba lakini Mungu but the Lord God found Noah to be righteous before him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mungu akapata Noah kuwa mwenye haki mbele zake. Wapendwa nyakati ambao tunaishi Chinsi Mungu alisononeka wakati aliumba ulimwengu. Ndivyo hivyo anasononeka hata sasa. Ambao sisi ambao tuko hapa hivi nataka tuelewe kwamba chinsi Mungu alisononeka enzi hizo ni hivyo hivyo anavyosononeka kwa sababu ya maofu ya mwanadamu, kwa sababu ya thambi za mwanadamu. Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu alipotasama mwanadamu aliyemuumba akapata kwamba fikira zake sote tunafikiria kuhusu thambi mawaso yake yote yako katika thambi hata sisi vile tumekaa hapa hivi saa singine katika mawaso yako na fikira zako unafikiria kuhusu thambi na kumbuka Mungu anatasama mioyo yetu Biblia inasema kwamba unaposoma katika kitabu ya Mathayo 15 mstari wa nane. Yesu pia anasononeka. Anasema hao watu wananiaputu na midomo yao. Lakini mioyo yao iko mbali sana nami. Na hivyo ndivyo tunafanya kama tunaposema kwamba sisi ni Wakristo. Che, tuko karibu na huyo Mungu wetu. Che, tunapomuabudu, tunabuabudu kama Mungu, tunampatia heshima zake kama Mungu yote yale ambayo tunafanya tunayofanya kwa ajili ya heshima za Bwana Mungu aliyekuumba ama umefanya moyo wa Mungu kusononeka Biblia inasema Mungu akapano na ombi letu tunaponena hili neno leo hii ni ili kwamba wewe ukapatikane kuwa noa katika iki kisasi Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Muna, muna, muna nielewa wapendwa omba Mungu wako aliyekuumba ili kwamba usiwe mzigo katika ufalme wake lakini uwe mtu ambao anamwe anamwenzi mtu ambao anamheshimu mtu ambao anayempenda huyu Mungu ili Mungu anapokutazama kutoka chumbi ngoni anaona uwaki katika maisha yako Ni nyakati ambao tumeishi. Ni nyakati ngumu lakini kumbuka tuko na neema. Tuko na neema ambayo huyu Mungu wetu ametupatia. Lakini wapendwa, ni lazima tukae tukichua kwamba neema si license ya kufanya maofu. Neema kufanyika kuwa hai leo hii ni kwa neema. Kuna wengi ambao walika yako Unapojitasama angalia watu walika yako ni wangapi wamekufa wamekuacha si kwa sababu we ni bora ni kwa sababu ya neema huyu ndugu wetu ambaye amelala hapa hivi wewe si mzuri sana kuliko yeye 
pengine ma, 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 uh, tabia setu ni mpaya sana kuliko saa huyu ndio ambaye amelala kulala ama kukufa si kwamba wewe ni mwenye thambi sana hata wenye yake wanakufa lakini chambo ambao tunastahili tuchiulise che ninapolala leo hii kama huyu ndugu yangu amelala Mungu ako na usuda aina gani kuhusu maisha yangu anaponitasama anaona uaki katika maisha does he see that righteousness in my life Mungu anapokutasama che anaona huungu katika maisha yako na ikiwa unachua na umetambua kwamba uhusiano wako na Mungu ni mpaya kumbuka kwamba Mungu anasononeka pale popote alipo kwa sababu ya chinzi unavyoishi kama unaishi maisha ambayo hayapendezi Mungu umekuwa msigo kwa you are a liability na ndipo sasa Mungu anasema ninaenda kuangamiza hawa watu ni nini tutaisafanya ili kwamba tusiangamishe watu wa Mungu. Ni nini tutaisafanya ili Mungu akatuangamishe? Biblia inasema kwamba ni kuwa mwenye haki mbele zake. Hilo ndilo e, chipo ambao tumepata, kuwa mwenye haki mbele za Bwana. Mambo yote yale ambayo unatenda, utende ukichukua kwamba Mungu anakutasama. Kama ni ma, kama ni thambi ni kwenda mbele za Bwana na kutubu na kuomba mzamaa ili kwamba kifo kinapokucha tasama tuko na vifo aina tatu one of the deaths ambao tunapata katika biblia is physical death kama hiyo ndugu wetu amelala hapa hivi physical death is the separation of the soul from the body hiyo ndio tunaita physical death unakufa mwili na nafsi inatengana nafsi yako kama utarara leo hii imetoka kwa mwili imeenda inaenda wapi ikiwa wewe si mwenye haki mbele za Bwana hiyo nafsi watu wakanyikera inaenda wapi if you are not righteous before god and you have slept kwa maana hatuchui ukitoka hapa hivi kama unaenda nyumbani uchui ni nini tatendeka hapa uchui kama utaweza collapse na ukufe hiyo naf, nafsi yako ndio tunaongelea kuhusu itaenda wapi wale watu ambao Mungu aliangamiza na galika walienda wapi kwa sababu hawakuwa haki mbele za Bwana so ombi letu leo hii baada ya kusikiza ile neno ni ili kwamba uhusiano wetu na Mungu tuhakikishe kwamba we serious with our rest, with the relationship with our God Tuwe serious na uhusiano wetu na Mungu. Tutengeneze uhusiano na Mungu. Awe rafiki yetu. Kama tunafanya thambi na tumeenda mbali, ametupatia nafasi ya kumrechea na kumwambia Mungu nisamee. Hata kusamee, huwa na masikio, anasikia. Kuambia Mungu nisamee, nimetenda thambi, nimeua, nime, nimeiba, nimefanya maofu mengi, nisamee. Nataka kuwa mwenye haki. Pokea Kristo Yesu aingie moyoni mwako akuokoe akutakaze akufanye mmoja wa uana wa Mungu. Wanza kutembea hiyo safari ya wokofu na Mungu atatembea pamoja na wewe. Jinsi alivyotembea na Enoku. Leo hii tumekuja kusimama na hii familia. Dada wetu mmesikia vile watu wameongea mengi kuhusu Lydia 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 I thank God kwa sababu ya hilo china kwanza kabisa. Tunachua kwamba huyo mama ambaye anapatikana katika Biblia, Lithia in the book of Acts, alikuwa mama mwenye matendo mema. Alikuwa ni mama jina lake lingine anaitwa Tabitha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So huyo Tabitha alikuwa ni mama mkarimu. Alikuwa ni mama ambaye alikuwa anasaidia wa mama wenzake. Biblia inasema ndiposa wakati Tabitha alikufa Watu wakasema hapana huyu haezi kufa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana so that the leo hii tuko hapa kukuhimiza kwamba kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu nataka usikirie huyu Mungu nataka uwe kama huyu leader wa Biblia uendelee kuomba Mungu uendelee kuweka tumaini katika huyo Mungu uendelee kumheshimu na kumtumikia 
Henda kanisani. Tembea na watu wa Mungu. Tafuta ushauri kutoka watumishi wa Mungu. Na Mungu atasimama na familia yako. Mungu atalea hawa watoto. Watakuwa watoto wa maana katika china la Yesu. Na usichiangalie usi na kujitasama unachionea huruma. Kwa sababu Mungu anakupenda. Waja kuchiurumia. Mungu huyo huyo mwenye alikumba ako na mipango kuhusu maisha yako. Usichiangalie unaona kwamba maisha sasa yameisha. Kwamba umefika kikomo. Uchafika kikomo. Saa hii kwa sababu uko na uhusiano na Mungu ndio ameanza safari pamoja na wewe. Atatembea na wewe ukitembea na yeye. Biblia inasema in second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 1 to 3. Anasema ukimtafuta utampata. Ukimkataa na yeye atakukataa. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu anasema, usimkatae huyo Mungu dada yangu. Endelea kumsikilia huyo Mungu. Kuna watu ambao walikuwa wachana, Mungu akawasikilia. Leo hii hata unaposoma Biblia utapata machina yao pale. Walifanyika kuwa watu katika ufalme wa Mungu. So sisi sote ambao tuko hapa Imiso letu tunapotoka hapa ni kwa sababu tumekuja hii semina ambayo ndugu wetu amelala. Tunatoka hii semina na neno moja kwamba che Mungu anapoangamiza ulimwengu chinsi ulivyo akiachilia moto kuangamiza na kuteketeza huu ulimwengu. Je, utapatikana mmoja chinsi no alipatikana kuwa mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa mwenye haki kupatikana kuwa mwenye haki ni rahisi mbele za Bwana. Nimesema ni kuamini Kristo Yesu na kumwalika moyoni mwako na kuanzia hapo hivyo Yesu anachukua usukani atakuelekeza chinzi utakavyohisi kuwa mwenye haki mbele za Bwana. Na Mungu abariki neno lake. Ningeomba tusimame tukapate kuomba. Na baada ya kuomba kama tutaisapata chorus worship chorus moja rafu wale ambao watatusaidia kubeba ili jenesa wasonge karibu wenye wangependa kutasama huyu ndugu wetu kwa mara ya mwisho watasonga karibu ili kwamba tumalize hii pamoja that is before uh, this after our prayer uh, tulisema kwamba tunataka tuombe hii familia. Hivyo ndivyo tulivyosema. Ninachua tuna mtumishi wa Mungu amefanya maombi hapa hivi. Lakini pia ningeomba kabla ya tujamaliza tuombe kuachilia hii familia tunapomaliza uh, baada ya kushiriki neno la Bwana. So ninaomba watumishi wa Mungu wenye wako hapa. Watumishi wa Mungu wenye wako hapa. Mzonga hapa karibu ili kwamba tukapate kuombe hii familia. Nataka tufanye maombi ya kipekee kwa ajili ya familia ya unare ili Bwana Mungu wetu awakumbuke ili Bwana Mungu wetu agawasingire na uwepo wake. Watumishi wa Mungu wenye wako hapa hivi you are there you are a servant of God kindly can you move over ili kwamba tukapate kuomba na familia. Ningeomba chinsi ya wapendwa wamesimama tafadhali mucha hapa kama mtaesa kuja hapa hivi mbele eh wapendwa hii familia tunataka tuiombe mkuja hapa mbele tafadhali dakika chache ili tukapate kuombea katika china la Yesu
Maybe see, see poor mess of ceremony. Maybe Mike and Malice. That's a man in the home of Combans, Jaw Patina was. Maybe the Nigerian. Quite a Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wacha tu simama kidogo tuimbe tu wimbo moja alafu tuendelee. Tafadhali kama unajua unisaidie tu. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Ningeomba Madam Jacqueline kama yuko tafadhali akuje. Madam Jacqueline Mama King kama yuko mahali Niona po amani kama shwari amani ona po shida kwa mambo yote ameni julisha Ni salama roho ni mwangu Ni onapo amani kama shwari 
Amaniona poshida Kwa mambo yote ameni julisha Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Inga wa shetani anani tesa Nitaji pamoyo kwani Kristo ameona unyonge wangu Ame kufa kwa roho yangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Inga wa shetani anani tesa Nitajipa moyo kwani Kristo ameona unyonge wangu Ame kufa kwa roho yangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Dambi zangu zote wala sinusu Zimewe kwa msalabani Wala sichukui lana yote Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu E buwana imiza siku ya kuja Panda itaka polia Utaka poshuka sitao gopa Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama, salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Amen. Your permission, please. I request to read the eulogy of Albert uh, Odiambo Musa. Uh, here I go. Uh, Musa Albert Odiambo was born in uh, the year 1989. Tumze Musa Onare Odeny and Silpa Chepkorir uh, Onare of Minya Village in the Wasab County, Oma Bay County. Uh, he was a brother to Musa Otieno Joseph, Beldin Auma Musa. Silas Owino Musa and the late Job Onyango Musa. His uncles was the late Tom Buya, Unare Antiswa, the late Ma um, uh, Maren Umolo Midem, the late Monique Onare, the Lynette Atien Onare, 
Karen Achola Onare, Corri, uh, Caroline Achieng Onare, Beatrice Auma, uh, Beatrice Auma Onare, and Rose Adiambo Onare. Sisters in law were Rita Lipea Otieno, Quinta Adiambo Sila, and Mary uh, uh, and uh, uh, Masi, Masi Auma Onyango. Uh, the w was the sister in law. Education. Musta Albert Odiambo attended his primary school in Oridi Primary School, Uriri High School, and ultimately Nyeri Medical School, where he did his diploma in pharmacy. Marriage. Musta Albert Odiambo was married to his wife, Lydia Boke Buyenge, in the year 2017. Uh, year 2017. They were blessed with two children, namely Dylan Lani Musa and Avila Liana Mushindi Musa. His in-laws are Jane, Nancy, Luvia, Sarah, John, Lucy, and Shadrach. Work life. He first worked in Migori District Hospital 2016 as a farm technician, and he later joined uh, uh, a non-governmental organization in 2019. In 2020, he moved to Universal Healthcare, UHC, as a farm technician. He died while working at Awendo Subcounty, attached to Marewa Health Center. Spiritual life. Musa Albert Odiambo had a good spiritual life from Nyeri Medical College while living in Migori. He and his family were members of Delivering Church Migori under Bishop Otigo. Death. Musa Albert, Gil uh, Musa Albert Odiambo met his tragic death along Mariwa Awendo after a road accident that killed him instantly. The family was notified by his wife who got the terrifying information from a friend who informed a, a bar after the body was already taken to Migori County Referral Hospital Muchari. Uh, that is the, 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 the eulogy of Albert, the short eulogy of the young man Albert Odiambo. I want to read here on behalf of his daughter Avila the tribute. Uh, Dad, I am writing this tribute with tear filled in my eyes and a heavy heart. But may the Lord comfort me daily with uh, thoughts of the life you have lived, a life worthy of emulation. I believe above all things that you are in the Lord's bosom, and I only ask for you to watch over us, your family. I love you, Dad, missing you each minute. Rest in peace, Daddy, till we meet to part no more. Daddy's girl. Uh, there is a tribute from the wife that I would want to read, with her permission anyway. Tribute from Lydia Bokebuyenge, wife. Albert, my beloved husband, it is still hard for me to accept that you are no longer here. Every day I wake up and see the cold, empty space where you used to lie and the pain comes crashing down on me all over. They say time heals all wounds, but with a sudden passing, I have come to realize that this is not entirely true. There are some wounds that time won't heal. Time will instead teach us how to live with this pain. Darling, your death is one such wound for me. I will learn over time to live with this pain. I will learn to pay again. I will live a, a, new, normal, uh, a new normal life with the ever-present pain of your absence from my life. I now how I wish there was visiting hours, I would visit daily. Baba, as the Lord has seen it fit to take you from this life at this moment in time, I can only hold on to the hope that you are in a better place. May the Lord show you mercy and forgiveness. Albert, my beloved husband, fare thee well. Thank you so much.
tudo isso a família vai ver do capaz de acompanhar a onda. Do same family, the song that we are by we to go now to miss our mung. Maumbi, for while I'm bawa na elewa go usu maumbi ni muimuzana. Taomba mchungaji kwa tuongozo wa tuwayo maumbi. Tafu kwa sana ya napigana na hiyo sere. So, tukaya tukichua kwa mba kila kitu kisuri, lasi mwakipambana na ma, ma, mabaya. So, familia tunataka tuwaimise hivi. Minajua nyenye ni watu ambao muna mucha mungu. Uh, wacha mungu wa wenga wa yembe. Weka timaini kwa mungu. Kimbiria uyu mungu. Uh, atawasaidia, atawaongoza, atawapa amani ambao munaitaji. Uh, Sila, wana shwe, yeah. uh, mungu wana kupenda. Uh, you are not dying soon. Yeah. Mungu wana kupenda, mbelea kumpenda pia. Tuna kumbuka hile Sunday school, kulipo kuwa na ayo sule enenika ni sana. Kula maumbi ya takuifati bwana ndaa kuweka tumaini kwa Bwana. Wacha tu patie basa nation where you. Ya wacha anse na maombi ombe ya familia. Tutaomba. Amen. Popote ambayo tuliko kila moja ni wakati mzuri tunapoombea hii familia. Na hata wewe ambao unakuja hapa tunataka uweke imani kwa Bwana maana umekuja kuombeleza na hii familia. Tunataka Mungu ambaye anaenda kushuka hapa <coughs> kweza kufanya mazuri kwa hii family akumbuke kila moja ambaye amekuja hapa ningependa kila moja mali ambayo huko wacha imani ende kwa bwana tuache kuongea moja kwa mwingine wacha tuweze kutazamia mungu maana ni wakati nzuri ambaye mungu anaenda kushoka ili abadilishe kila mabaya ambayo shetani amekuwa melenga sio tu dhidi ya hii familia na hata wale ambao wameamua kusimama na hii familia lakini tuko hapa kuhakikisha mipango zote za shetani imeangamizwa Mungu ametenda mazuri kila mkaja weka moyo wako kwa Bwana Mungu wetu alie bingu baba tunayokushukuru Yehova jira Yehova rafa Mungu awezo baba Mungu wa jabu uliona ya kwamba kila moyo wa binadamu ilikuwa mbaya lakini ukafurahishwa maana nuhu yeye moyo wake ilikuwa inakufuata siku ya leo baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninajua kuna moja hapa ambaye moyo wake umehifadhi bado inakufuata bado inakutamani mwokozi bwana Yesu alie awe zai yote hii familia imepitia mengi wamepoteza wale ambao walikuwa wanaitumainia lakini ninakushukuru maana baba wewe Mungu wetu bado unaishi milele na wewe ndiye unategemewa Mungu wa ajabu ninaomba umeshaona yale ambayo yametendeka hapa tangu dadi wa ibo maifariki watoto wawili wameifariki lakini bwana shetani alikuja kutenda mabaya lakini bwana Yesu wewe ukakuja kutenda mazuri na kuharibu kila kazi ya shetani katika jina la Yesu Kristo jioni ya leo ninasambaratisha hizi mishale zote ni zote za shetani dia e familia dia e bama na ata dia wale ambao wamekucha na isambaratisha na kuishukisha kila mishale ya shetani ninaziangamiza katika jina kule za Kristo katika jina la ukwe za Kristo Yesu mkuna kuinulia mkono wangu juu baba wacho shuka sasa roho mtakatifu ashuke katika ibustani aweze kuteketeza kila mapepo kila mazinga mbwe kila spirit zote za kifo katika 
jina la Yesu Kristo ninaipokabidhi familia ya msha mkono ni mwako ninaipokabidhi dada yetu lidia mkono ni mwako baba ninaomba Mungu wa mfariji katika ile yuology amesema ya kwamba maisha yake Mungu wa Jabu atakwaga na sononeka akikumbuka Albert ninaikanusha hayo baba unaingia maisha yake unampatia furaha unamuinua tena unampatia tumaini maana mambo bado haijaisha yeye ndiye inaanza huyo mama mtoto litia maisha yake ninatangaza inarembeshwa mahali alipani maisha na anzitangaza ndiye mazuri imeanza mahali ambaye malipalitani kila kitu imepotea ninatangaza urekesho katika jina la Yesu Kristo hii familia ambayo imepoteza wanaume kada kada na nyabazisha hiyo roho ya kuwa wanaume hakuna mwingine hata wao tena tunalaani hizo ma accident tena tunazilaani na kuzilaani Oh katika jina la Yesu Kristo Baba Mungu wetu Baba nebu leta urekesho leta urekesho leta urekesho Bwana Yesu Kristo natangaza tumaini tazama jinsi litafanyia juu ayupo ukamwinua chuo natangaza ipo maina inuliwa chuo wale ambao wamepoteza husband wanainuliwa chuo Baba unawatendea Asante Mungu na staili na unaweza Natangaza furaha tele tele natangaza baba mazuri tele tele dada na hata watoto wote baba ninawainua juu unawazingira na unawatosheleza unawapa furaha oh yes mungu achabu na hata kuna madoto mbaya ambayo watakuwa nayo kuhusu yale ambayo ametendeka katika china leo kristo baba asante maana unaweza pokea sifa mungu mko pokea utukufu baba Unainua watu wako na hata kama kuna yote ambayo ni mgonjwa hapa ninanyambasisha na ku silence either mgonjwa natangaza afya tele tele natangaza furaha tele tele pale ambacho tani alitani tuendelea kuwa kuwa na kuwa, kuwa na tutana na soro natangaza kuna kusoro hakuna kusononeka baba tutakuangalilia asante unatenda makuu katika jina la Kristo naomba na kuamini piga bwana makofi kama unaweza asante yova Papa tunasema asante mara ya mwisho. Tunaendelea kukushukuru kwa sababu utawatetea, utawasingira na uwepo wako na kwamba hakuna mabaya tena yatarudia hapa. Tunakushukuru kwamba utasimama na hii familia. Utasikilia mikono yao. Asante kwa mtumizi wako tena. Asante kwa sila. Baba wetu na Mungu wetu endelee kuwapa hekima ili waendelee hii familia kulingana na nguvu zako. Tunakushukuru na tunakuabudu maana tumeomba tukiamini katika Kristo Yesu. Amen. Amen. So ninaamini kwamba kama hakuna yote hako na jambo e, tusaidiane basi tubebe. E, mwili twende tuone mwenye anataka kutasama mwili for the last time please kindly. Yeah. Oh. Is here. grateful. I know it's well with my soul. I love my husband so much. I really do not respect him. I request my mom. Mama. I love you too. Just stay part. Stay strong. I see my kids I see my kids. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for the relatives. Thank you for the neighbors. Sejo gwen. Mama. So good. You will be going back to your home. Or you go safe. Amen. Uh, 
asante. Ah. Uh, Nilikuwa nasema kwamba kama kuna yote angependa uh, maybe kutasama mwili kabla hatuja utoa pale uko na uhuru wa kumtasama. Otherwise kama kuna tunaomba wapendwa watusaidie kubeba mwili tukipeleka pale.
Oh, my God. 